The national government in this budget has put 35% of the health budget going to the county. Yet healthcare is 100% devolved. How comes the national government that is not offering healthcare is remaining with a bigger chunk, 65% of the budget of healthcare in Nairobi, yet health has been devolved? So we want the president to be sincere with his administration. Is he giving uh, devolution what is called lip service or he's serious? We want to have 80% of healthcare budget coming to the county national uh, county levels to ensure we can have medicine, we can have drugs. Because devolution in healthcare has only taken place by devolving po positions, but not devolving resources. We have also devolved corruption. You are a CEC health, you have no medicine, you have no doctors, you have no ambulance, you have no resources for healthcare, but you have a position. CIR people do not eat CEC health, they eat medicine. CIR people do not need corruption which has been devolved. They need service to people. And I'm asking the national government that Operation Indo Gattuzi is going to take them to court to explain why are they retaining 65% of the budget, yet health has been fully and 100% devolved. That's the message. Immediately the budget is ascended to, because uh, if you go to court, they can be told you are going prematurely. We want the government to ensure that before the bill is, the, the, uh, the, the, the budget is assented to, they make those changes and make the communication. If not, for us, we go immediately because we have already put down the chapters which are illegal in the budget. We have the chapters which are illegal in the finance bill. We'll go to court and we shall conjoin the budget plus the finance bill because the, we have seen 50 illegalities in the finance bill, 50. 50 uh, sections of the constitution which have been violated. For example, prudent allocation of resources. The government has allocated almost, almost 350 billion shillings to projects which had been done before under different names. One of them is ID digitization. It was Uduma number. Money was allocated. The servers are there. The printers are in the country. The workers are there, over 1,000 workers, even some of them are here in CIA. Then now they're allocating another 11.5 billion shillings to do the same thing. It's illegal because the law says that you, you cannot use money in a way that is not prudent. So immediately, uh, immediately we, we, we see the budget being passed, we shall go to court. But for us, it doesn't take one week. In Espano, one week we go to court. It is not Mandamano that needs notice. For us, we go immediately. Operation Indo Gattuzi has over 80 lawyers in the country working on all those cases. Me, I'm just a leader. But we have over 80 lawyers who are working with me. One is on a finance bill, one on the budget bill, one on digitization bill. One. So we have lawyers working on each and every of them and we are not lacking resources.